Here at Gaia.com, an article by Gaia staff entitled Out of Place Artifacts, Who Really Discovered America? And the staff begins, there are a number of details that run counter to Christopher Columbus's discovery of the Americas, glossed over in our society's dominant narrative. The fact that he wasn't the first old world explorer to discover the Americas is often met with strong resistance. Despite numerous out-of-place artifacts and unexplained archaeology telling a different story. So who discovered the Americas? The actual discovery of the Americas comes down to a matter of perspective. Obviously, the indigenous people already living here are the true discoverers. But from a European or Old World context, the credit is mostly given to Columbus. But if the definition of making a discovery means understanding what you found, did, did Columbus really discover America? Columbus believed he'd arrived in Asia and was interacting with the denizens of India. Hence the name he gave them, Indians. He never understood that he had actually landed on an entirely different continent. But this is why America was named after Amerigo Vespucci rather than being called Colombia with his realized discovery a decade later. It wasn't the, until the 1960s that it became nationally recognized that a Norse explorer discovered the continent before these two Italian explorers. Leif Erikson and a small group of Icelanders landed in what is now modern-day Canada at the tip of Newfoundland. Erikson and company established a small settlement in a site called Lano Meadow, nearly 500 years before Columbus in the year 1000. Here's a, what they call the Vinland map. For a long time, this Norse presence was disputed as myth, until there was so much conclusive archaeological evidence that history had to be reconsidered. One of these artifacts, the Vinland map, shows cartographic evidence of the Norse discovery. Though its legitimacy is still debated, despite carbon dating placing it at least 50 years before the discovery of Columbus. There have been a number of anomalous finds suggesting that the Norse were not the only ones to have predated Columbus in discovering the New World, making it possible that even Erikson's landing was predated. A number of discoveries, including Roman artifacts, have raised archaeologists, archaeo archaeologists' eyebrows throughout both of the Americas. Unsurprisingly, these two have experienced dismissal and cover-up. In Brazil's Guanabara Bay, Guanabara Bay, a sunken shipwreck was discovered appearing to be the remains of an ancient Roman ship. Among the submerged ruins were a number of large terracotta amphorae, tall jars that were made during the Roman Empire. The jars were dated between the 1st century BC and the 3rd century AD, definitely proving their origin from the Roman Empire. This type of pottery was used to transport anything from wine to olive oil to grain. The discovery was made by marine archaeologist and treasure hunter Robert Marks, who turned over the jars to, to the Brazilian government under the assumption that he would have the opportunity to return to the site for further exploration. However, when he returned, he found that the Brazilian Navy had dumped silt over the wreckage, literally covering up his discovery. When Marx confronted the Brazilian government, he said he was told that Brazilians don't care about the past, and they don't want to replace Pedro Alvarez Cabral as the official European discoverer of the country. Marx has also given a bizarre story, was also given a bizarre story by a Brazilian businessman who said that he had ordered a potter in Portugal 
to recreate the jars, and had sunk them in the bay to age them, only recovering a few. This absurd story was less than convincing to Marx, and the government's response added to his skepticism. There is other evidence of a Roman presence in the Americas, further north, at a temple in the Toluca Valley, just outside of Mexico City. There, archaeologist José García Peón found another terracotta artifact that appeared to come from the ancient Roman Empire. Peón found the carved head of what experts say is a depiction of a Roman during the Hellenistic period, around 200 years A.D. The head was found underneath two cemented floors inside a pyramidal structure that had remained intact since before the indigenous civilization. Though no one has definitely answered the question of how the terracotta head made it here, a study by Romeo Hirstoff and Santiago Genovese proved its antiquity through the use of thermoluminescence dating. The authors used the most conservative time span in their paper, dating the head to between 870 years before Christ to the year 1270 A.D. This broad range st still went counter to arguments of detractors who believed the head to have been created during colonial times, while lending to the argument that it must have been of Roman provenance. But how did this out-of-place artifact get there? 